Hey guys, I'm Kristen and today we're going to interview Jeff Stilwell, the president of Salt Life, and ask him five questions about what it means to really live the Salt Life. Number one, what is your favorite Salt Life activity? Scuba dive. Number two, sitting on the back of a boat with a beverage. They can be <laughs> somewhat neck and neck. Yeah, Depends yeah. on the day, but I do. I dearly love to dive. Uh, it's a passion of mine. What is your least favorite Salt Life activity? Drowning. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm thinking yeah. that would be the worst one. Yeah, I would think so. What's a favorite Salt Life trip that you've been on? There is an island off the coast of Honduras called Roatan, and I've been going there for probably 10 years. Love it, it's unspoiled. I tell people it's like finding the Bahamas before it became the Bahamas. It's just so great and I love it. When I decide to stop working full time, there's a good chance you may find me permanently on road time. You've said you like diving, and I know you like fishing as well, so what is the biggest fish you've ever caught? Geez, the biggest one I've ever caught, I'm not sure, but I will tell you the trip we're on right now, I think I was tricked. We hooked a large amberjack, and no fishing tail. Honestly, it was a little over 80 pounds. It probably will grow by the time I get home, there's no telling, it'll be like the size of a refrigerator at the time I get home. <laughs> but somehow, they handed it to me, and it took me 45 minutes to get in, and everyone abandoned me. I was struggling to get this Thing in. They didn't do anything. They just sat back and laughed the whole time. So I think I was tricked. But you know, for those who have not caught or tried to reel in an 80 pound amberjack, they don't call them reef donkeys for nothing. Speaking of fishtails, tell us the most outlandish fishtail you've ever heard. Probably the most outlandish one I heard was yesterday. There was someone sitting very close to me who happened to catch a shark and was terrified of sharks her whole life but managed to, to catch a shark. First shark ever. Of course we got it and released it and everything was perfect. Sharks all good. But somehow after dinner last night and possibly a couple of beverages, the shark could not fit on the boat. Well, you know they grow after it, you catch them, right? They they do tend to grow, but you know, I was picturing like old man in the sea where we were gonna have to strap the thing to the to the <laughs> boat and try to get it in. It was so big. And I'm thinking, you know, I've seen the footage, but somehow now, I mean, if we got it on the boat, the boat would sink. I think it almost did sink, <laughs> didn't it? I, John, what, I mean, thanks so much for watching this episode of Living the Salt Life. And until next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. You always live the salt life, no matter where you are. I mean, even if you're somewhere else, you're always thinking about the salt life. So not until oh. the next time. We're always living the salt life. It just depends on the location. Always. Right now, live the salt life. Exactly. I'm Jeff Stillwell. I'm Kristen. And until next time. Always. I know, I'm sorry. It's I'm always sorry. Always. And always, always live the salt life. Okay. <laughs>